Hey guys, this is Amber from PML Salon Spawn Studio, just coming to you with a little bit of information. So, guys, I've been getting a lot of people ask me a lot about what we're doing as far as sanitation is concerned, and I love, love, love that question. The reason why I love that question is because you should be conscious about your nail experience, meaning when you get your manicures and pedicures, you should be very conscious about what, who they are, what they're using, and what they're doing. So those are three things that you guys definitely need to be thinking about in your mind, and I'm going to let you guys know a few little tips and tricks about what you should be looking for and also what you can do when you go to a nail salon. So, guys, instead of just looking at this beautiful bamboo tree, I'm going to pan you down to my sanitation box. So, when you guys are going to a nail salon, I need you, need you, need you, need you to look for a sterilizer. So, this sterilizer is a UV sterilizer. It is what is required by state. Every state that you go to has requirements, and here in Texas, we have a state requirement that you use a sterilizer. It's UV, so that is something that you definitely should be looking for. One other thing that you want to look for is you want to look for if your chair is pipeless, like this one. This one, it's a bowl, and it has a liner. So after I'm done doing a pedicure on a guest, I just take this out and throw it away. The thing about piped bowls is that you never know if they're truly being cleaned. That always poses a big question and you can't actually ask your technician if you can see what's going on inside the chair because you need a mechanic for, or not a mechanic, but you need someone that's very um, versed in, in going into the chair and taking a look to see if there's any mold and debris inside of the pipeline. So here at CNL, you don't have to worry about that because Boom, it's already clean by just taking this guy out. Also, one thing that you guys want to look for whenever you're going to a nail salon is going to be the logs that they use. So this should be very close to where your chair is. And you can always look for this because you can say, you know what, how am I really sure if this chair was clean prior to me sitting down in it? Here it has the Texas State information and TDLR, and you also have like the date and the time, and we have to put our full name and our license number, guys, so look, the reason why we have to start doing this is because people have been getting staph infections and even dying in this industry because nail technicians do not clean their stations. So it is kind of a nuisance for us, for every single guest, we have to write down our full name and our license number, but guess what? whatever it takes, right? Whatever we need to do to keep the, the public sanitized and safe, that's what we need to do. So you can look for this form, you can ask for this form as a conscious customer. You can ask for these things and they have to let you see it. There's no problem. Another thing that you guys wanna look for whenever you're getting a pedicure is how their station is set up. So like for me personally, I'm a very neat and prim and pop proper person. Like I don't like stuff everywhere because I need to find what I need. And this is another thing that's really important. See these little sanitation pouches? So what does this remind you of? It kind of reminds you of when you guys go to the um, dentist, right? Well, guess what? Nail technicians use these too. So how do you know that it's clean? Well, it has to be sealed like this. And normally, this tint of blue, that lets you know that it's been processed in the sterilizing process. So it's blue tint, and it's sealed. Another thing you want to look for is some type of solution. This is barbicide. And personally, I just put a little cloth at the bottom so I don't damage my tools. Um, definitely want to have some hand sanitizer. Making sure that all the products they use on you are sealed up properly. And guys, just look. This is just clean and neat. Isn't that awesome? You know, when you look at files, they don't have somebody else's debris on there. Gross, right? Buffers are clean. Everything is just clean and fun and ready to go because this is your own personal experience. If you're paying, you know, like 
in the upwards of, you know, 25 to 30 dollars or more, you want to make sure that your investment is being, you know, not only carried in front of you, but also whenever the therapist, when you're not around, like, what is your therapist doing? So, guys, I just wanted to let you know about that because I got a lot of questions, lots and lots of questions about this, and I'm just so happy to talk to you guys about it. If you have any questions for me, just hit me up on Facebook, and once again, I'm just going to roll over this again. So, you got your sterilizer that you look for, you got your um, liners here for disposable um, pedicures. And then you also have your forms here. So when you're looking uh, for your uh, sanitation records, you can ask your therapist to show you this. And then also your packaging to make sure your tools are safe and sanitized. Okay, guys, I don't want to keep being repetitive. It's something I'm passionate about. I really want to make sure you guys are getting fun, safe experiences when you're out there getting beautified. But you got to be conscious about it. All right. Doesn't that chair look amazing? Well, you can come and visit me at TNL Salon Spawn Studio, 1100 Gaddis School Road, Suite 100. Love you guys. You can also visit me on StyleSeat, www.styleseat.com forward slash relax with Amber. Love you guys. Bye.